What's up, guys? Look, man, I got some information for y'all, man. If you think about coming to Maverick, man, I'm gonna put you ahead of the game. You gonna get off. You gonna you gonna leave that program. You gonna know what to do. You gonna know what to do before you go to the program, man. Check the Instagram out. Check the Facebook out. I got how to use the the, the red binder, how to use the yellow binder, how to use your tablet in the truck. All type of stuff, man. Uh, I even show you how to uh, how to secure shotgun cool. If you've been watching my channel, man, y'all know I put y'all on straight game on a lot of stuff. And I got on my Instagram, Facebook. Y'all check it out on the left side right here. Look, everything on here, man. Check it out. Okay, what made you choose Maverick? Uh, Maverick is one of the best companies, in my personal opinion. They don't treat you like a number. You mm -hmm. ain't just another piece of meat. You actually a person. They understand you got life. You got family, you got stuff you need to do and stuff you want to do. Yeah. And they understand that work's got to, your job's got to intermingle with all that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not going to work out. They try their best to get you home when you need to be and just take care of you as much as possible. Okay, so what company you came, for, uh, came from before? I came from Prime. Prime, okay. So what made you leave Prime? Um, so I started there during, right before COVID. Uh, uh, came in as a new driver to the tra entire pr training program. Did full U.S during that training program and I love the science and then in my personal experience I got uh, told to go leasing straight out the gate no mm -hmm. company no nothing as a brand new driver by myself and my personal experience that just it didn't work for me I was never able to go home uh, and yeah it's my truck it's it's my trailer it's my loads I get to pick that and that's a freedom you get mm -hmm. but um, you never get to go home or mm -hmm. if you do it's it's not for long Oh, you never get to go home like that? It, it's hard. Oh, it's hard. It's hard because, like, think about it. With Maverick, when you go home, you know, all right, next week's going to be a brand new week. I'm going to earn money. Prime, mm -hmm. every day you spend home, you're losing money. Every time you're in the shop, you're losing money. And you're paying for it. They ain't got no guaranteed pay over there? I think they do for company, not for lease, though. For lease, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 How much is it for company, you know? I, I didn't. I, I never really uh, pay attention to details for company. Personally. Okay, so you just went straight to lease. I went real. straight lease. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So how much you, you, you just did a whole full year with them? I did, yeah. I did I did a full year with them, and then I and then I came to uh, Maverick, but that that year was rough. I yeah, went yeah, home rough. maybe two times. Maybe two times? Yeah, the entire Dang, year. That's crazy. So how much did you clear that whole year? I'll be flat with you, but in between gas and ma I, the truck that I, I received, it was a brand new truck that had a lot of maintenance problems. So first couple months, I was in the hole. Mm -hmm. with gas and running loads and getting stuck over in California and mm -hmm. uh, what a big prime flatbed. Biggest thing is hauling onions. But um, mm -hmm. I just, I was in the hole. And the moment I got out of that hole, I, I quit. Quit, just like that. Cause it, it, I mean, because you're in debt. It was a walk away lease or you just had to? I, I had to uh, turn the truck in and I had, it was where I was even with my payments mm -hmm. and I was even with all my maintenance bills and fuel bills mm -hmm. to where I wasn't going to owe anything and mm -hmm. I just walked. You just walked away, okay. Yeah. So what other account are you on at Maverick right now? I'm on an account called HTN. We're mm -hmm. based in Columbia, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. It's a Home Depot, uh, DC. Mm -hmm. All I do is I haul to Home Depot stores south of Nashville personally. We have some drivers that go north of Nashville. They go all the way over to Memphis. They got one store all the way up in Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. But normally I go south of Nashville mm -hmm. and then I go haul uh, uh, LP OSB out of Hansville, Alabama. Okay, so how you like the tra you did flatbed prime or you did drive in? I did I did flatbed all done, all flatbed. done flatbed. So you had to go through the whole training process at Maverick or you just had to, what you had to do? Uh, so that's one thing I'm gonna go over to Prime real quick. Prime has a really good training program in house mm -hmm. to where if you don't know nothing, they take care of you. They're not gonna push you on dates. Yeah. They're not gonna make you test when you don't feel like you're ready. They're gonna make sure that you gonna be the best that you can be to mm -hmm. test. Yeah. On the trainer truck, different story. Cause my trainer, uh, every trainer has the availability to do whatever they want. So my trainer was, we team driving. We ain't training, we team driving. And that's mm -hmm. rough. Mm -hmm. That's rough to switch from being a day person to being a night person, just on the flip of the hat. Yeah. No transitional period, no nothing like that. It was rough. But with uh, Maverick, they have a, if you've been driving for over a year, 14 months or something like that, you can come over and you just go through their orientation. Okay. And so you go fill out paperwork and they make sure or that you go through a securement class mm -hmm. and they make sure you know how to operate safely into the Maverick standard. So how that securement class went with Maverick? There were definitely some different things, uh -huh. but it's roughly the same. Like mm -hmm. something I, I personally do, Maverick, they teach you how to strap with um, 
to where you fold it and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. I just do it like you do. I just wind it up in the winch. Mm -hmm. And I, that's what I personally do. And what they tell you there is be safe, but find what works for you. Mm -hmm. And that's what works for me. And that's, what, that's one thing that a lot of people have got to do is that they've got to find what works for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's true, that's true. So I see you got the truck open right now. You say your starter went out. Yes, sir. On your brand new 24 truck. Brand man. new 24 truck. Uh, well, it's interesting story. This is this is my third truck. My first truck was a 21. Uh huh. And I'm no kidding. I'd go a month. I'd maybe go a month, and they'd break down every month. Oh really? It was always something. Damn. And then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then I did that for about three, uh, about two, two, three years. Mm -hmm. And then I got into this 24. And the 24 overall, it's, it hadn't given me a problem. The last uh, in the summer, I had a, a or earlier, earlier probably April. I had a, a turbo issue, mm -hmm. but they were able to fix that really quickly. And right now it's just a starter on this one, but mm -hmm. I haven't really had a lot of massive issues out of this one compared to the, my other truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, how long is it gonna take somebody to come out here and fix it? Well, they quoted 30 minutes, but uh, like we'll see on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll like see. Now. Yeah. So what, what's the good GPS you recommend for a new truck driver? Uh, personally, if you got the budget, it's a Garmin Diesel 1000. It's the it's the biggest one they offer. Mm -hmm. And my personal, I just go with Garmin personally because they do have their issues. Every GPS is going to have their issues where they lose satellite connection or they're get an update or this, that, and the other. Yeah, yeah. Garmin, they actually download a satellite image of where you're going before you get there. Yeah. So you can pre-plan and go, okay, I need to go here. But they tell, GPS told me to go this road. I actually need to go this road. Mm -hmm. Or actually, this looks like it'd be better. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's you don't have to squint. It tr it plans a lot more stuff in my personal opinion than um, uh, the last time I used a Ram now GPS. Granted, it's been a couple of years, so who knows? Mm -hmm. But it's my personal opinion. It's Garmin's Garmin be the best. Garmin up there. Okay, yeah. how you like that mirror eye system in the truck? Oh, I love it. I love it. During the rain, it doesn't stick to it. Doesn't stick Water to it. does not stick to yeah. the lens. Yeah, that's so true. you can see clear. Yeah. Um, I do have one weird thing. I don't know if you have. I don't think if you'll have it, but I've got the Gen 2. Every mm -hmm. once in a while, the driver's side camera will just stare off into space. Like, it won't even stare at the trailer. It'll just stare off into space. Like, oh, you really? like you always turning. But oh. I found the solution is to actually retract them in and then shut the battery off and it'll reset it. Oh, okay. But okay. I, I love it. Love I lo it. It's, it's a lot safer. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole lot safer. Yeah, okay. So, um, what's the hardest part transition to Prime to Mac? What do you think the hardest part was? You ain't got a harder part. It, in my personal opinion, it wasn't really a hard transformation. Mm -hmm. It was more of the same expectation of, okay, I'm flatbed. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm looking at, regular loads wise, mm -hmm. and then just understanding how their company works. Mm -hmm. Understanding that, hey, in every trucking job, communication is key. Yeah. You got to tell dispatchers every little thing like, hey, I'm broken down. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm sick. Hey, I'm this. Hey, I'm that. Because that kind of communication will just make it easier on the long end. Yeah, it will. It will. That 24 truck, mm -hmm. how, did, how did 24 differ from that 21? All right. 20 to 24 truck. Well, it's got the, it's got the new DT12 engine transmission.